This is the second stage of the Apollo Saturn V. It measures 81 by 33 feet and fueled weighs over a million pounds. It uses ultra-cold liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. Five J2 engines develop a total thrust of one million pounds. being tested here. The second stage in actual flight takes over after the first stage burns out. It is then about 38 miles high and going some 6,000 miles an hour. The engines burn for six minutes and push the third stage and its Apollo spacecraft to about 117 miles at a speed of 15,300 miles an hour. In the process, the engines burn 340,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen and oxygen. The second stage is like a super thermos jug made to hold two very low temperature propellants. Structurally, there are five major parts. The interstage is at the bottom and links the first two stages. Next is the assembly which supports and houses the five J2 engines. And after that, the liquid oxygen tank. A bolting ring attaches the tank to the second stage structure. The stage is topped by the liquid hydrogen tank and the forward skirt which connects the second with the third stage of the rocket. An interesting feature of the second stage is that the two propellants are actually in one tank, the top of the oxygen tank serving as the bottom of the hydrogen tank. This bulkhead separates liquids that have a temperature difference of 150 degrees, but by using the common bulkhead for both, 10 feet of height and about four tons of weight were saved. Liquid hydrogen flows through pipes outside the oxygen tank. And a systems tunnel attached to the tank walls protects wiring, tubing, and other systems. When the stage is assembled, it is checked, tested, and cleaned. Then its five J2 engines are installed. The four outboard engines are gimbaled or hinged for guidance control. A high-performance upper stage propulsion engine the J-2, built by Rocketdyne, was used on the Saturn 1B with 100% success. The second stage also houses other systems essential for flight, such as environmental control, electrical, stage separation, radio, and so on. After assembly and checkout, all flight components of the stage are tested by full static firing at the Mississippi Test Facility. Then the second stage is qualified for its space job as a part of the Apollo Saturn V.